Hello Fanatics, I'm Dylan Phillips and here is our Season 1 review of Hulu's Only Murders in the Building. Here we'll give you our spoiler-free rundown of the series, our overall thoughts, and tell you whether it's worth the watch. Let's get started. The main story of Only Murders in the Building Season 1 revolves around three strangers, a retired TV detective, a failed play producer, and a young artist who share an obsession with true crime podcasts. When a murder occurs in their building complex in New York City, they take it upon themselves to start their own podcast, covering their investigation into this murder. Only Murders in the Building is a rare show. It's charming, self-aware, nuanced, well-performed, but above all, it is entertaining from intro to epilogue. From the first moments, the audience is brought into the world of the Arcadia, a town itself within a larger city with a unique group of characters and situations that help pave the way for tons of conflict to transpire. Even with just this backdrop, the series is entertaining, but with the addition of the three lead characters, it becomes as addictive as the podcast it emulates. Martin Short and Gomez are all incredibly talented actors, but here they get to stretch their acting in different directions. They bring light sprinkles of comedy, a bit of romance, charm, and the journey of major life events with personality-defining trauma. Each of them makes these characters their own in layered and, dare I say, award-worthy performances. This is accented by a great supporting cast led by many recognizable faces. However, while it is the acting that makes these characters breathe, the writing that created them to begin with started the success. The storytelling is calculated, as is needed to cultivate the perfect murder mystery with enough twists turns, and shocking moments to not only surprise viewers, but keep the character's investigation long enough to fill a full season. Pair that with the dive into its more serious themes in a very compelling way, without tying them directly to the murder itself in a cliched fashion, and this writing team makes the promise of a second season a worthy wait. The series also makes the great choice of keeping its runtime down at a modest 30 to 35 minutes per episode. By doing so, it allows no time to be wasted on unnecessary plot points as everything serves a purpose. They could have pushed it to 13 episodes or done the standard 45 to 50 minute drama, but the team obviously knew the sweet spot that this series needed and ran with it. Only Murders in the Building Season 1 is a great twist on a trendy genre that brings classic murder mystery into a contemporary narrative. While the names may be what draws the audience in, it is the brilliant storytelling, immersive atmosphere, and captivating characters that make this season fly by, making one wish there were more episodes to this true crime tale. This season of Only Murders in the Building manages to blend the comedy, the crime, and the more serious themes into a neatly crafted murder mystery, so I'm going to say that season one is worth the watch. And that's our review of Only Murders in the Building season one. If you've seen it, what did you think of the season? Was it worth the watch? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Dylan Phillips, and thanks for watching.